Announced in 2021, it's no surprise that this PlayStation Studios title is shrouded in secrecy. Insomniac has already delivered two of the best PS5 games of the generation in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, and also was hard at work on Marvel's Spider-Man 2 as well. That hasn't stopped Marvel's Wolverine from being one of the most exciting upcoming Marvel games though. Thankfully, it does appear that development is beginning to ramp up, with Insomniac's senior cinematic animator recently revealing that they had shifted their attention from Marvel's Spider-Man 2 to Wolverine. Marvel's Wolverine is a story-focused action offering from Insomniac Games that's currently in development. Revealed back in 2021, the title will let you assume the role of Logan, the iconic superhuman from the X-Men franchise. We've not heard much about the game since then, but we may get more details soon now that Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is nearly upon us. Though we don't have many concrete details yet, it seems likely that Marvel's Wolverine is in safe hands given Insomniac's excellent track record. Responsible for some of the best superhero games out there, not to mention two of the best PS5 exclusives, the American studio has serious chops. Both Marvel's Spider-Man and Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales are fantastic examples of what superhero games can be when developed with care and attention to detail, offering gripping stories and pulse-pounding action. That said, Insomniac intends to go in a different direction with Marvel's Wolverine, looking to adopt a more adult tone in keeping with the down-to-earth grittiness for which the titular Wolverine is known. Speaking on the PlayStation blog, the developer made clear its commitment to respect the DNA of what makes the character so popular but also look for opportunities to make it feel fresh and truly reflect the Insomniac spirit. Though it's early days, we have managed to track down more than a few tasty morsels of information. Marvel's Wolverine does not currently have a release date on PS5. Given that Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is set to release on October 20th this year, we wouldn't expect to hear details about a potential Wolverine release date until late 2024 at the very earliest. We expect the Marvel's Wolverine release date to be late 2024 or early 2025 on PS5. This is due to the fact that Insomniac Games revealed the game when it was early in development, and Marvel's Spider-Man 2 from the developer is set to release later this year. With the PlayStation 5 exclusive still early on in development after its reveal, we don't expect any new information regarding Marvel's Wolverine until after the Marvel's Spider-Man 2 release date at the very earliest. Marvel's Wolverine has no firm release date or window. But if we're expectation setting here, you should expect a lengthy wait. Insomniac currently has its hands full with one team working on Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and another on Marvel's Wolverine. Ryan Schneider, head of franchise strategy at Insomniac, noted that the game was in very early in development, back in 2021, and there's been some suggestion that Wolverine could launch as early as fall 2024. But while we await official confirmation, there's a good chance that we're in for quite a wait, especially as Insomniac wants to deliver an emotional narrative and cutting-edge gameplay. Marvel's Wolverine is set to be a PS5 console exclusive, much like Marvel's Spider-Man 2, so it won't be available to Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S. This shouldn't be too surprising, given how Sony acquired Insomniac Games back in 2019. It's also skipping last-gen consoles, so PS4 owners are also out of luck. However, there's a good chance it'll arrive on PC, since Marvel's Spider-Man and Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales both released on the platform, albeit well after their initial launches on Sony's home consoles. As Marvel's Wolverine is a PS5 exclusive, and will not be coming to PS4, while Spider-Man Miles Morales was a cross-gen game when it launched alongside the PS5, Insomniac soon followed it with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, a PS5 platform exclusive. Insomniac has fully turned its attention to the new generation console and is working to squeeze every once of power out of it that it can. During the cinematic announcement trailer, Wolverine can be seen drinking at the Princess Bar in Madripoor, a location that has been his home away from home in the comics, particularly at times the X-Men have been inactive. The crime-ridden Singapore-inspired city of Madripoor has long been an important X-Men setting, and it appears it will be featured in Wolverine, although it's unclear whether this will be the story's primary location. The story will reportedly according to Jeff Grubb, take place in the years before Logan joined the X-Men, although it's unclear exactly how far into his long life the story will ultimately enter from. Marvel's Wolverine is being developed by Insomniac Games, the developers behind Marvel's Spider-Man and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. The studio has grown tremendously since it was acquired by Sony and integrated into the PlayStation Studios portfolio, giving it the resources to produce multiple ambitious games all at once. Development will be led by creative director Brian Horton and game director Cameron Christian, who most recently spearheaded the creative team for Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. Logan is with safe hands, is what we're saying.
The Marvel's Wolverine trailer does make a point of explaining that the images we are seeing are not actual gameplay, but that isn't to say we don't have any idea of how it's going to play. Insomniac is known for its slick, kinetic, third-person action-adventure games, Sunset Overdrive, Ratchet and Clank, Spider-Man are proof of that. Insomniac wouldn't say either way, but Ryan Schneider, head of franchise strategy, did say the following, one of the key elements that drew us to him is surprisingly not that different from Spider-Man, both heroes feel deeply compelled to defend people who are less able to do so, before adding, in the vein of our Spider-Man games, our goal here is to not only respect the DNA of what makes the character so popular, but also look for opportunities to make it feel fresh and truly reflect the insomniac spirit. The presence of the princess bar in the reveal trailer at the very least signals that Logan won't be stuck at the Xavier Institute. If anything, teasing the island of Madripoor this early on could signal that Marvel's Wolverine will be a globe-trotting adventure. That's speculation for now, but it's worth pointing out the rumors that Marvel's Wolverine could be set as part of a broader universe that encompasses the Insomniac Spider-Man games. While Ryan Schneider, head of franchise strategy at Insomniac, explained that this was a standalone game, he does drop this tease, being able to build a new, original universe with Spider-Man and now Wolverine is such an honor for so many of us at Insomniac Games. Though we don't yet have any concrete details as to what to expect from Marvel's Wolverine, the reveal trailer does offer several easter eggs which provide some interesting hits. Firstly, the trailer's setting seems to drop a big clue about when and where Marvel's Wolverine is set. Logan is drinking in the Princess Bar, located in Madripoor, which you may recognize from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which we see from the bar sign and the Madripoor tourist poster. In Marvel Comics Presents Vol. 1 in 1988, Wolverine visits the Princess Bar while hunting down a crime lord called Roche. After wiping the bar floor with Roche's enforcers, who are trying to get protection money of the bar's owner O'Donnell, Wolverine becomes a regular of the bar, under the name Patch, and even co-owned it for a time. The bar was essentially Logan's home away from home during a period when the X-Men were inactive. Is Insomniac Games hinting that this is the time period Marvel's Wolverine is set to take place? Will we see Logan taking on the criminal underworld? Another possible easter egg is the Radio Lautown 104.8 poster. Lautown is a district in Madripoor, so Madripoor as a setting seems pretty likely. But the 104.8 seems to reference Marvel Earth 1048, the universe in which Marvel's Spider-Man is set. This seems to suggest that Insomniac Spider-Man games and Wolverine take place in the same universe, meaning we could see a Marvel game universe in the making. But the radio station isn't the only number that appears to reference a specific comic book. The license plate on the bar reads HLK-181, which seems to reference the Incredible Hulk number 18 in which Wolverine makes an appearance. Does that mean we could see Hulk in Marvel's Wolverine? Again, we certainly hope so. According to Marvel's Wolverine's creative director, Brian Horton, James, Logan, Howlett's standalone adventure on PS5 will be a full-size game with a mature tone. Horton confirmed this in response to a fan on Twitter asking whether Wolverine on PS5 will be big or a smaller Miles Morales size game. In a PlayStation blog post, Insomniac Games revealed that Marvel's Wolverine is being directed by Brian Horton, creative director, and Cameron Christian, game director, who led the creative efforts on Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. Insomniac Games has said that, while it intends to honor the DNA of what makes Wolverine popular, it will be putting its own fresh spin on Weapon X. In the vein of our Spider-Man games, our goal here is to not only respect the DNA of what makes the character so popular, but also look for opportunities to make it feel fresh and truly reflect the Insomniac spirit, Insomniac Games wrote in a PlayStation blog post. According to the developer, despite being in early development, Marvel's Wolverine boasts an emotional narrative and cutting-edge gameplay. Although Insomniac has yet to announce a rating for Wolverine as development is still in the early stages, Jeff Grubb previously stated the studio is aiming for a hard art tone where Logan's claws are gonna work as claws, so it appears Insomniac is looking to make a Wolverine game that embraces that character's violent and gory nature, likely pointing toward an M for mature rating. An actor has yet to be announced to play Logan in Wolverine, but one popular choice already revealed he has not been contacted, that being the character's X-Men the animated series voice actor Cal Dodd. Many have speculated the role may go to Steve Blum, who has played Wolverine across animation and games in likes of Midnight Suns, Wolverine and the X-Men, Ultimate Spider-Man, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, and countless more. Then again, when Insomniac chose Yuri Lowenthal to play lead Spider-Man, the actor had only played the role twice before in minor games, compared to more experienced Peter Parker actors such as Josh Keaton and Drake Bell. So, for now, there's no telling who may land the leading role for Wolverine. To once again quote the renowned Jeff Grubb, via Morning Games Mess, Wolverine reportedly probably won't be open world, 
but will instead have something closer to open sections of a world, akin to those featured in other major PlayStation titles such as God of War. This could see Logan explore a variety of slightly more restricted locations as the story progresses, unlike Insomniac's three Spider-Man games which have all gone for the open-world approach. As of now, Insomniac has not confirmed any of the villains Wolverine will face in his upcoming solo game, but fans can likely expect him to cross paths with an assortment of his most famous antagonists, just as they did with Spider-Man. Sabretooth, as Wolverine's archenemy, will almost certainly be featured, with the likes of Silver Samurai, Lady Deathrite, and William Stryker also among those who might make their way into the Insomniac game. According to Jeff Grubb, Wolverine will reportedly take place before the Adamantium Mutant joins the X-Men. With the game also set to avoid any sort of links or anything that sort of evokes the Fox movies. He added that while he isn't completely certain, the game may take place before he knew, any of the heroes who would later become his X-Men comrades. Based on this, it seems unlikely Wolverine will include any of the X-Men, with the game instead expected to see Logan stand on his own. The PlayStation blog has already confirmed Wolverine and Spider-Man will share one universe, with developer Insomniac describing the honor of getting to build a new, original universe with Spider-Man and now Wolverine. As Wolverine will only be the first expansion in this universe beyond the Spider-Man series, one has to wonder whether he may show up in this year's Spider-Man 2 to tease his solo game, even if that only comes in a post credit scene. Insomniac Spider-Man already alluded to a larger world of heroes in this universe with the appearance of Avengers Tower in its open world. There has so far been no confirmation of any heroes beyond Peter Parker and Miles Morales appearing in Spider-Man 2, but if any were to, Wolverine would offer a simple way to promote his upcoming game and connection to this world. While Marvel's Spider-Man and Miles Morales are critically acclaimed, there's no denying they're pretty family-friendly at times. After all, Spider-Man himself is your friendly neighborhood Spidey, known for his youthful antics and cheeky quips. By contrast, Wolverine isn't all sunshine and rainbows. His backstory and character are comparatively speaking, pretty dark. We're hoping that Insomniac explores this side of Logan in the Wolverine game, offering a more mature experience than Spider-Man did. We're not asking for gratuitous violence but, to really dig into Wolverine's backstory, depending on when this game is set, you can't shy away from the darker moments. Also, Logan would hardly be able to slash up enemies with his iconic claws without spilling a bit of blood. We don't want them hogging the spotlight, but it would be nice to see Insomniac's take on some other Marvel heroes popping up in the Wolverine game as side characters. The specifics would really depend on the story Insomniac wants to tell, but we're hoping to see some of the X-Men make cameos, including Jean Grey, Professor X, or maybe even Rogue. We currently don't know who will serve as the main adversary in Marvel's Wolverine, but there are plenty of infamous villains to choose from, and we imagine some could appear as smaller roles. We're hoping we could see Logan battling Sabretooth, Lady Deathstrike, or even Silver Samurai. Or perhaps we'll see him simply battling to bring down the Weapon X program that saw him subjected to the painful experiments from his angsty backstory. With Insomniac Games now working on another Marvel title for PS5, we're hoping that we could see a Marvel game universe in the future. In our opinion, it could work pretty well. Like with the MCU, Insomniac has created standalone products allowing us to get to know individual superheroes within its universe. If we continue to see more Marvel heroes getting their own games, could we potentially see crossovers in the future? We certainly hope so.